I spent the better part of the last two days scouring the Elden Ring map, trying to find any little advantage or secret that I could to give me a little bit of an edge, because to be honest, I'm, I'm pretty bad at the game. It's my first Soulsborne, but the one thing I am good at is finding secrets. And today I've got a pretty amazing one for you. And one that's really going to help you out probably to take down the first major wall that you'll encounter here at the Stormvale main gate. Kind of right in between here is one of the first big bosses and that's right where the game points you to. It just points you directly into this wall of death. And if you've been struggling on this particular boss, you're going to love this video, and even if you're not struggling with it, you'll probably still enjoy it. Now, I'll be showing off a couple different locations and things that you can access extremely easy to give yourself an advantage, whether it's getting a ton of XP or getting an item that's going to make their first major wall of a boss a little bit more bearable to defeat. Now, you can do this really early in the game. If we go from the entrance area here to the gatefront ruins, uh, we're going to start here at the Lake North site of Grace. And if we just kind of run down this area, we're going to be going down into this water area and the canyon. So we're going to be going down through here and under this bridge. Now, there's a couple of things that we got to discuss here, and you got to prepare yourself for a little bit of a fight, uh, but you should be okay. Now, if you just run down this particular area, you don't have to hop, skip, and jump your way down the canyon and risk dying because, I don't know, if you're like me, you just fall off cliffs every time you approach one. It's, it's fine. It's normal. Uh, we're going to go under this bridge. I'm going to pick this bad boy up right here. Some fire grease. Oh, yeah, watch out for the dude bros that are jumping from the ceiling and all the other guys that are around. And as you approach this area up here, this kind of widened gap in this canyon, you're most likely going to be invaded by an NPC. I've already defeated this NPC, so it's not popping in. Uh, but you will also be having another NPC summon in that's going to help you. So it's kind of your first uh, intro to being invaded. And you'll get an interesting dagger from that after defeating it, which is pretty cool. It's called the Reduvia Dagger. And the passive effects is causes bl uh, blood loss buildup, which can actually do a ton of damage. So it's a really cool weapon, especially if you are one that enjoys using daggers. Um, so that's just one of the things that's going to happen as we go to this little cave right here. This is the important bit. Now, if I'll open this up on the map, this is called the Merc Water Cave. And you're going to want to go here pretty early in the game. That NPC is relatively easy to defeat because you can let the other NPC that spawns kind of kill it for you anyways. But inside of here is going to be an NPC slash a battle that is incredibly important. You're going to want to synchronize here at the site of grace. I don't know. I still call it synchronize, and I know that's not right, uh, but it's just kind of the way things happen, I suppose. We're going to run through this cave, and in this room, there's going to be these little guards here that are running around. You can fight them, but also be wary if you don't want to fight a whole bunch of things at once. There's actually these trips, uh, these traps here on the ground uh, that have little bells on them. So you can. it's probably really hard to see. You can see the bell right there. But there's quite a few of these, and I ran over all of them because I'm cool like that. Uh, but we need to actually go and not, we're not going to go to the left there. We're going to go through this little right passage, and you can sneak past those. Just be a little careful of the little bell traps. Uh, but what we want to get to is right in here. This is going to be uh, a boss battle with this little douche canoe right here. Now, to initiate this boss battle, you're going to have to loot his little chest, and he's going to get super mad, jump down, and try and murder you. Uh, he's actually relatively easy to defeat, and when you do finally get him to the point to where he wants you to basically stop beating him to death, make sure to let him live. Don't be a murderous, rampaging freak, okay? Somebody asks for forgiveness, then just forgive him. Let him live, because you will be rewarded for it. Now, once you let him live, just go ahead and leave the area. You can use this little portal here to head out of this cave and then come back. Also, don't loot this chest when you come back because horrible things will happen to you. Do not do it or do it and have some fun. I don't know. Uh, but once you come back here, oh, yes. but by the way, he's going to be here opening a new shop that you can buy some cool things from. 
Now, if you're familiar with Dark Souls games, apparently patches is a thing. And I do want to give a, a big shout out to the streaming community who showed me where this was and pushed me to go to this location. Because uh, I probably would have killed him without all of you telling me not to, so thank you. Uh, but there's a couple items in here that we desperately want to buy. This gold pickled foul foot boosts rune acquisition for a time. I'm going to buy both of these. You will have three available and I want to have all of them. I'm going to show you why here in a second. Then the other item of interest is Margit's shackle. This is going to come in extremely handy for that boss we were just talking about. I honestly probably would not have defeated it without this. Now it is 5,000 runes and I know you're like, that's probably really expensive, but I'm going to show you the best farming spot in the game that I have found. And that golden foot is going to come in super handy for it. Now I do have a video on this farming method already, and I will leave a link to it in the description if you have trouble getting there, but essentially you can go a couple different ways to get there. And the way that I find easiest is to run across this bridge and you're going to go down this path all the way until you get to what is called the Third Church of Marika. Once you get to the Third Church of Marika, just collect all of the items that are here. Uh, that'll give you the Vial of Wondrous Physic and a couple of other items to upgrade your flasks. I have information on all of that in the previous videos. You can check that out if you want. But what we want to do for the purposes of farming is head behind this particular area. And there is this portal that's going to take us to basically the end of the map. And we want to go right through here. From here, just hop on your trusty steed torrent and you're going to run right down. If this is your first time here, I got all, all over all of this in the first video. But since I'm trying to show you how to just murderize the bejesus out of this boss, we're going to kind of reiterate some of the stuff. Grab the sacred seed from that orange tree right there. And we're going to head down to this uh, little bridge. Now, there's going to be a dragon on this bridge. Don't go fight it. I mean, you can. You're probably going to die. It will one-shot you uh, if you're low level at least. But we're going to stop right here and we're going to rest at this uh, Site of Grace. Now at this point of time, you can go into your inventory and you can use your golden foot. This is going to increase the amount of XP that you're going to get while killing the super easy to kill monsters that are here. Uh, typically you get about a thousand XP per kill, but with this golden foot, you get right around 1500 per kill, allowing you to get a stupid amount of XP here or XP or runes or whatever you want to call it. But there's going to be one right up this hill and to be able to kill these easily, I recommend sneaking up on them. And then once you get behind them, you're going to want to stop moving and hit the right or R1. That'll give you a nice little sneak attack. Then you just need to slap it two or three times depending on your weapon and wham, bam. Thank you, man. We got 1400 and whatever amount of XP. Oh, we got a new piece of armor too. So these will give you armor and weapon upgrades as well. There's another one right down here. And there's like a loop of four of these that I like to kill and you can get a absolute ton of XP doing this. So let's just go ahead and sneak up on this bad boy. And you're going to basically just farm this up as much as you want with or without the golden feet and just try and get as much XP as your heart desires, I suppose. There's another one right here. I like doing a loop of four. There is a bunch of these around, uh, but the loop seems to treat me well. But now that I'm thinking about it, I don't know if our buff goes away if we rest. Uh, so I'm going to do this a little bit differently and just kill as many of these as I can. I think this buff might disappear if you rest. <laughs> I kind of want to test it out, but I, I don't. Uh, but there is a bunch of these around. Just kill these to your heart's content. Now that buff does only last about three minutes. So just kill as many as you can in three minutes. You'll get a lot of XP. But if you want to just do the loop of four, uh, then you can just go and rest here at this site of grace. And they'll respawn and you can just keep doing it. You get about 4,000 XP per minute, uh, about two on average, four if you're just really good at murdering them really fast. Now you should have enough runes to not only level yourself up a bunch, but to be able to save 5,000 of these runes to buy Margit's Shackle from the NPC we unlocked just a few minutes ago. 
Now this shackle does have unlimited uses and it will momentarily bind Margit to the ground and you can use this a bunch very early on in the fight uh, but after you use it and do enough damage then you won't be able to use it except for certain parts of the fight and I'm not exactly sure what these other parts are later. I noticed that I was able to bind Margit to the ground after doing like one of these stunned attacks after they kind of fell back to the ground uh, but definitely don't risk killing yourself to use this but you should be able to use it multiple times throughout the fight to be able to deal a bunch of damage now i know this is by no means a hack to be able to just defeat anything in the game but it should really help you out with margit thank you all so much for hanging out and i'll see you all in the next one